it's a, it's an exciting morning because I'm basically going to go and collect my new Paiga Mobu mountain bike frame uh, which has been two years in the making now uh, yeah it goes back to 2019 where there were a, a group of I think about 50 50 or so investors who who backed a local uh, bike manufacturer, um, Pat Morwood, um, and his company Paiga, on their vision of essentially assembling and manufacturing full carbon mountain bike frames here in South Africa. Um, they've obviously been in the, the mountain biking game for a good number of years now, and their frames are, are largely produced out of uh, out of the east. And I think Pat's vision was really to support South African businesses and if you're going to be a, a South African mountain biking company um, you know the right thing to do would be to try and uh, manufacture your frames here in South Africa so that's exactly what they did there were a group of guys who uh, who invested in that first frame um, really just allowing them I guess to get the project off the ground and um, they partnered with a company called BST Blackstone Tech, uh, who do they do carbon carbon wheels, um, mostly for I think for like uh, MotoGP teams. I mean, they're they're really top of their game when it comes to constructing you know carbon wheels, but they'd never done any carbon mountain bike frames. So the last two years have really been about you know the Paget guys and the BST team perfecting the laying up of this carbon and, and getting the frames you know created getting the prototypes done getting them tested they've been tested by some of the best mountain bikers in South Africa um, Matthias Bjorkus and Philip Bass have been riding these bikes for probably the last year but I guess the reason it's taken two years is because as everyone knows um, you know the pandemic hit and I think that just threw everything into into chaos and um, so it's taken longer than I think everyone initially hoped for and expected but that day has finally come I got the call from uh, from Barry from the Paga team uh, last week to say that he'd be dropping my frame off with uh, with Grant Usher so I'm on my way uh, at the moment to uh, to Grant's shop um, and I'm gonna check the frame out and just maybe have a look at some of the options in terms of you know what it's going to take and what it's going to cost to build this frame up um, with the various components that, that I'm after so yeah exciting day um, it's been a long time coming and I can't wait to uh, to see this frame I've seen pictures of it and you know we've obviously been updated by the Pygit guys um, in terms of progress so um, yeah, hugely excited, and let's uh, let's get across to Grant quickly and have a look at the bike and uh, see what options we've got in terms of a build.
amazing that uh, that raw carbon look um, just looks incredible. I'm really, really, really chuffed with uh, with how it's come out. It's a really proud moment to be, uh, you know, to be supporting a, a brand like Paga and to, you know, almost, I guess, be part of uh, be part of their journey in terms of building building bike frames, you know, in South Africa. There's some big, big decisions to make, and you know, they all each decision comes with uh, with a bit of a cash outlay. So I want to take my time and make sure that I get this build right. And then, yeah, hopefully we'll get to the stage where, you know, in the next couple of weeks, I can actually test ride the bike that I've been waiting two years for, uh, which is super exciting. So let's see what happens in the next couple of days and, uh, you know, get, get the quotes and make some decisions. And the next step will be the actual build. Can't wait.